Episode 119, dude, coming oh in. Whew. It's oh Sunday. It's Sunday, dude. We're here on a Sunday. March 3rd, it's Sunday. It's just a Sunday. It's just a it's rainy, the Lord's day. rainy Sunday. Rainy Sunday. Whew. Rainy Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> what you up to, bro? Matt McCuskey's dude. Rainy Sundays. What a whirlwind last wow. week. Wow. Our week. I mean, I thought, dude, I thought, I thought the dogs loved me. The yeah. dogs were quick to turn on me, dude. Yeah, we've we've attracted a nasty bunch of little assholes. Nasty little fat little fucking <laughs> little greedy pigs, dude. Probably like fucking nasty little good boys, dude. Dude, they were mean. Yeah, I know. They were so mean to me. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> like that, fucking retard Shane ruined it. I was like, I didn't fucking do anything, you dickhead. Dude, that that it was funny because I I would have people who like would message me and be like, "Yo, I know Shane really was the one." I'm like, "No, no for real, yeah. like, he didn't. Like, he definitely did I it. Didn't. <laughs> I know. I didn't compromise the cast. Dude. <laughs> I know. Matt got compromised. Dude, I was on the wall. I was... I, I, su- I supported Matt's decision. exactly. We, we talked on the phone, and Matt was like, "I think I should take it down." I dude, was like, do what you got to do. I, I was, I'm just I'm sitting at my fucking job, and all of a sudden I get this text from my my colleague at school, and it's just like. Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Picture of the fucking iTunes thing, and I was like, "No!" Oh, fuck. It was just like a ladder, just like went up against my battlement, dude. And I was yeah, just like, "Whoa!" Oh. <laughs> you were swirly crabbies, but dude. I, you know what? I was I was happy though because that was something I was like, kind of like, I hope no one. Now I'm at the point where I'm like, I don't give a fuck, dude. Yeah, I, that's that was kind of a nice thing. Sorry for the uh, tumultuous There's week. Nothing, you did nothing wrong. I know, but it's still, a fucking podcast. I, that's a, our conversation. I was like, yeah, take it down. Who cares? I didn't know these people were fucking vicious little fucking greedy little weasels, dude. <laughs> well, my old thing was like, it is. it was weak on my behalf to be like... It's not weak. I think it's weak, dude, to be like... Dude, you were worried momentarily... Sure. To be like, oh, I don't want to lose my fucking career right now. Sure. Well, Over, it's my, my thing is like... It doesn't like, matter. I just... I would Put be, it back up. It doesn't matter. True. I would. I would be mad if I got banned because I do like. I do like doing that. I, I like doing the thing I do. So it's like, I like talking to people. It's like my entry level yeah. shamaning, dude. I'm on a new 21st century thing where like this, you don't have like a career. I'm a more of a vocational dude. Exactly. I get the call from within and I respond. Yeah. So it's like I'm doing that. If I get jammed up by these motherfuckers on some political shit, I was like, dude, that'd be so fucking lame. I'd be so mad. But really, it's yeah. like because it's like first off, that's not even close to our worst episode. <laughs> like, it, dude, if you go listen to any of the early ones, oh yeah, dude, there's time I'd get drunk and be like, "Yo, white guys invented everything and we're the fucking best." <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> like that was for like three months straight. <laughs> I know. I'm like, dude, I'm diversity just, sucks. I in remember comedy. you just sitting there like in the bathroom, splashing water in your face before, I'd be like, "Oh my god, I'm with the fucking white guys invented this." And, uh, <laughs> and then I got to talk about flight. Do you guys like flight? <laughs> white people did that. What's next? <laughs> yeah. So I. Yeah, whatever. No, it was it was just funny to me because I I've been really trying to like, um, unfragment myself to where I'm just yeah. like because like it's like I like have friends over here that I can do this with and that and I it's it is to the point now where like I, that's it, dude. I have to fucking bring in all the sub personalities into the hole and just be like, this is what I'm up to. Fucking tremble before my majesty. Tremble, dude. So when I, I'm in like normal settings now, dude, I freak people the fuck out. Yeah, they, it's like it's weird, dude. I can't be around my family. Really? When I go home, people are like. You're a fucking dickhead. Everybody I'm For around, what? everybody that's not in comedy is like, oh, you're an asshole. Why you're are they always get, why, an asshole. Why? God fucking damn it. Hold on. Sorry about that. Yo, Deep right. State obviously fucking set Deep up the State. smoke alarm. Yeah, dude, they Jesus heard us. R.I.P. Saracini's cat. Mm. Just, just got on Instagram. Saracini posted a picture of his dead? fucking dead cat. How to die. I don't know. He had to put it down. It was his best friend, dude. Oh, man. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. Sorry, Saracini. Fuck man, R.I.P. the cat. R.I.P. your cat, dude. This is where people come for fucking pet this death. Is it. Pet death. You let me know if your pet dies. I'll fucking shout him out. <laughs> yeah, for uh, sure. That was funny. I did that on Bonfire, mm-hmm. like a lot. Yeah, like, shout like, out yo. people's dead pets. And then I started getting like DMs of people like, "Yo, my fucking dog died." Like every day, <laughs> I'm getting DMs of different people like, "My dog's dead." Like, you should do a reality. You should pitch a reality show that's just you like handling um. 
like dog death arrangements where you just like pull up and you're just like a pallbearer for dogs. <laughs> yeah, you can put on some sick dog funerals. Oh, for sure. You did it right because you you're not held to like religious standards. True. Or like you can desecrate bodies. What do you like? You mean like you just put it on like a firework, launch it in the air? Oh, for sure. <laughs> you can do wild shit. You could up. You could tie a bunch of you balloons could tie, to it, dude. Tying just, balloons. I think I might start doing that. Tying balloons to a dead dog and just floating it off for sure. That's a good. That's way. the move. We're putting like a slow burn on it, so like it gets up and then it finally burns itself off the balloons and just dro- like a fiery carcass <laughs> just drops from like <laughs> like five hundred feet up. He's got a flaming dog falling down. <laughs> I'm definitely going to do uh, Viking burials for my dogs. Yeah. And it's definitely going to be like, if one dies, they're both... You the, have the, to. Yeah. The, if Indian. one dies, the other's going with Indian it. Indian like, law. Like the, the funeral pyre. Like the Egyptians. Like yeah, how yeah. they put the young boys in the tomb. Be Absolutely. something like that. I would euthanize the other one. Well, no. Yeah. I would, I, they have to go down together. You think Tilda's dying? No. Jax is dying quick. <laughs> Jax is on the highway <laughs> Jax, to hell. <laughs> he took a shit the other day and it was gray. And I was like, what the fuck? Anyway, he's been eating. He eats like clops of dirt. If I le- I have to I can't leave him outside unsupervised because he'll just eat dirt like a pig. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy, dude. Like I have top. They like put down topsoil in my backyard, and he'll just eat topsoil. I'm like, dude, what the? Fuck? I know it's, it's, it blows my fucking mind. And then he, he's like, he's like, when his he, when his shit gets all fucked up, his legs start coming off the ground. He's just, I'm like, dude, what the fuck is this? It was like gray mucus on like a fucking black turd. And I was like, dude, you're gonna <laughs> die, dude. <laughs> he loves yeah, it. He can't that, stop. Back to that fucking meltdown, dude. That true. I had no idea. Those little. I mean, you got to think too. It's quick like quick to turn on me. Yeah, the, oh, I mean, yeah, they were they were definitely quick they were to fucking, excited. To they be were like, yo, you suck. They were quick <laughs> like, to besiege dude. you, dude. They imagine did. back in feudal times, if like a rumor spread around, like you would have been fucking in the stocks, if not worse. They would have had your head. Yeah, there's no trial. The rumors must have been spread so this is fucking what fast. This is what sucked about. Yeah, it, was I had nothing to do that day. The day that this all popped off, no, I was like, all right, I still got this joint. I'll smoke. I'll smoke some marijuana. So you, how, how did, I was wondering this. How did you save a half smoked joint? Did you bring it down to the basement with you? They stink like a motherfucker. Where half smoked? Joint. Oh, at my parents' house. Yeah. No, I just you left it outside. No, I just had it in my jacket. Did they smell so yeah. bad? Yeah. <laughs> my mom was like, "You smell like weed." I was like, "Yeah, I have weed in my jacket." <laughs> and then they were like, "You're an asshole." <laughs> I was like, and I was like, I don't understand why people think I'm an asshole. Well, I used to do a thing where I would leave like half smoked joints in like yeah. strategic places because they'd stink my house up. So I was like, I was wondering, like, I wonder how Shane, old Shane, nah, tackled my family, the old... my family can handle weed. They can, they can handle your yeah, fucking. They joint. can be like, all right, you, you're good. Oh, it's so nothing else. Funny. Yeah, uh, exactly. So I just smoked. <laughs> I have weed in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, I was like, the, she's like, you smell like weed. I was like, yeah, it's, yeah. I, I ha- it's weed. That's what you smell. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Would she think your mom would smoke weed ever? She has, yeah. Oh, well, she, I'm saying will she? She would. Hell yeah. Yeah, if I would have been like, let's smoke weed, she would maybe do it. Nice. If she was drinking a little. She, she got would. her down the beach. Yeah, 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 she was down the she beach. She had a couple, a couple wines. A couple Seagrams, yeah, dude. dude. A couple fucking Bahama breezes. Jess took a fucking, smoked a joint, mm-hmm. got on Reddit. I was like, let's see what's going on. Normally, this is pretty favorable. <laughs> <laughs> Every thread was like, you fucking fat fucking retard. I was like, damn, what happened? Dude, the, f- the funniest Ooh, is spud. And then just being high. And the, the next, once I was done being high, I was like, oh, I don't give a fuck at all. Yo, While yeah. I was high, I was like, everybody hates it me. Hurts, it dude. hurts, dude. Dude, Spud <laughs> saying, when he was like, he read one negative comment and all of a sudden wanted to throw up. He's like, I don't <laughs> know how you guys do that shit. Dude, I got. Negative comments fucking blow because then it's like, what can I say back? I have no Nothing. idea who they are, and they know everything about me. You can't say Outside anything. of, you know, I, you can click their username and check out, yeah. you know, let's say they post pictures of their son on the Nintendo thread. Mm-hmm. You know, some listeners might do that, <laughs> and maybe I have pictures of their fucking ugly gay kid now. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I'll read something if I get something. If One I, dude right now is like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, God, he's got me. Some dude just got compromised. I know. Then I was, I was honestly going to DM that dude. Like, like I was high enough. I screenshotted a picture of his <laughs> son. And I was like, yo, stop talking shit, dude. I almost pressed send and I was like, what kind of fucking you maybe almost, I am a fat retard. You almost dude. sent him like a stoned ransom? Yeah. Dude, so actually, dude, oh my god, you're 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 hitting so many fucking. But then I was like, dude, if this guy goes to war with me, I'm done. True. This is my one new It's like fighting ISIS. Yeah, it's like fighting ISIS, dude. 
Dude, so first of all, you, Shane, you bring up so many things. So wow, I now shouldn't I've, be on right now. Now I tell you how I, I was trying to like just like slowly up my my weed thing, where like I was yeah. eating edibles, see how much I could take. The other part of it was like I would go about my day, so I would see like how high I could be in my normal life without completely faltering. Yeah. So I was like just like pushing the fucking limit, dude. Yeah. I was just like going places. I went to fucking therapy, like stone as fuck, and you know, which was awesome, by the way. But the uh, <laughs> it was actually really tight. I was like hitting her with all these theories, and she's like, "Are you high?" Well, she's, she's like, like "It what? smells like weed." Did you she's like, yeah, that's weed. That's weed. <laughs> no, I was ed- I was an edible monster. Oh. So, but dude, this fucking this shit I get from the dispenser, I don't know what the fuck's in it. I, the dosage just can't be correct because I'm like, I'm like, all right, this is like probably like 25, 30 milligrams or whatever it is. I like took the tincture. Go there, and it was like a late delay kick in. So I'm like, I'm like pretty stoned. I'm in the waiting. You know, when you're like stoned, and you're looking around. And you're like, I'm in a new place, and I'm like, first thought is like, I should probably get out of here. I should be here <laughs> yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, nope, nope, nope. So I go in there. I'm doing my thing. You know, having a good time. And uh, dude, that is my favorite thing too. By the way, to go in there and have that's the secret, secret podcast where I'm like, look, lady, check this shit out. And she's just sitting there like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so then, so I go home. Damn, you get high at a therapist. That lady must hear like. Oh, it's so sick, dude! I fucking love it. I wonder if she's like this guy is. Well, I, I could be retarded. I study the subconscious, so I'm always hitting her with like subconscious theories and shit, dude. And it's just like, but it is like, you know, she's like a psychoanalysis bent, so she's into it. So it's damn. It's, are you guys? Fun. Doubt it, bro. That's I. I would never this is violate like Tony Soprano and his. I would never strength, violate dude. the sanctity, dude. True, you shouldn't, but you I'm, know, sometimes passions. Oh, that's it's Especially if you guys are both fucking mind fucking. It's transference, bro. You know, I'm. A, you know, she's she's really good. But I like. I was. Uh, I've wondered about that. I was like, I hope I don't fall in love with this lady. Dude, that'd be awkward as fuck. Is she old? No, not at all. My first one was a geezer. First one. Wait, how old is this lady? I don't know. Probably like Roughly. thirty, early thirties. You're in love. No, I, ha- I you have. You have to be in love. No, dude. I love her. I know. It, it's. Just I hard. love her. Off this story, I love her. <laughs> I actually. <laughs> I will say this. Dude. So <laughs> I forgot all about this. I definitely this. love her. So I'm in. Um, I'm in there and we're talking, and I don't know how this comes up. And I was, uh, what the fuck? I don't know. I literally don't know how it led to this. But we're talking about like when I was little, and I was like, we're talking about getting teased. And I was like, oh, I used to get teased all the time. Yeah. She's like, what would people say about you? And I was like, I started laughing. She's like, what's so funny? I was like, my brothers, my brothers. I was like, my thighs were always so big for my pants when I was little, <laughs> dude. I was like, my thighs were always so big. And I was like, my brothers used to call me Thunder. <laughs> And she was like, oh, that's terrible. And I was like, no, I was, I was like, I said, why are you laughing? I was like, I don't know. Like, the fact that my brothers call me Thunder Thighs makes me laugh so fucking hard. <laughs> yeah, it's and I was like, it, it actually really, I remember the time, like, I would walk when I was in eighth grade and I'd feel my fucking fat thighs in my Flynn O'Hara pants, dude. And I would just be like, oh my God, dude, everyone can notice my fat thighs. <laughs> and I was like, no one ever said anything. My one brother the one day was like, what's up, Thunder Thighs? And I was like, no. <laughs> Dude, so I come out of I there. I told you, I was laying on the floor one day. <laughs> it still haunts me. Remember I made fun of you for having bitch hips? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was just me transferring that to someone else, dude. I was laying on the floor. So I was laying like on my side. Like on Cleopatra? The, yeah, like a Greek just waiting for grapes. I was laying on the floor on my side, and my sister was on the couch behind me. I was just—I was a kid. I was like watching TV. And both of them were behind me, and they were both like, "You got bitch hips." And I was just like, "I don't even know if that was a thing." Like I was not ever worried about my hips. <laughs> dude, you hit me with that about a year ago, and I've been fucking working furiously you look to get good, rid of my dude. bitch hips, dude. My bitch hips come back. It's all right. If I eat too much salt, my bitch hips appear. I'm like, oh, no, no. My life is just a struggle against my bitch hips and my thunder thighs. Dude. Sick ass thighs. You thighs. Are thick. Now I, I was telling her, I'm like, you know, now I'm pretty cool with my thighs. So just, I just come to facts. I come to grips with the fact that they're just bigger than natural. It's like, it's like, so I come out of the place directly across the street is a big sign. It's a store called Thunder, and I was just like. I instantly took a picture. I was like, I won't make a habit of texting you, but this was just too funny not to send you. Oh. She, she just like, she was like, okay, very funny. Like, cause you're not supposed to like start like a, Oh shit. I couldn't resist. Dude. I come out all of a sudden I'm all stoned and I just see thunder on a billboard. And I was like, no, that's so funny, dude. So then I go home. Everything's cool. Catch a lift, do my thing. And, um, see my babe off to work. And then I go, I was like, I'm like, fuck, I gotta take a shit. And it hit me. I'm like, damn, I am fucking stoned. Like, the edible yeah. part kicked in. Fuck. Because I 
smoked a bong, took an edible, then went to. Th- so I was like, I was on like a time release type. I was a time bomb. So I was, <laughs> so I was, uh, so I go in. I'm like, oh my god, I got a shit. And I'm like in my house, kind of like, I don't know if you ever got like real high in your house and like it's like the middle of the day, and no one's there, and I'm just kind of like, yeah, that's exactly what happened when I checked Reddit. Exactly, middle dude. of the day. I was like, I just got NBA 2K19 on Xbox. Yeah, this dude. is gonna be a great day. While I'm sitting there, I'm like, let's check out Reddit. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, it ruined my day. Oh, of course. It took, and then I woke up the next morning like, what a fucking pussy. Yeah. But at the time, that was Dude, the, when you, get, like getting said, high midday, just like, well, this, I was excited. I this, was like, I'm alone. This is going to be great. It's going to be fun as hell. Well, this is my thing. It's like, I've been trying to get to the point where like, if I eat a strong enough edible, smoke, I can smoke weed forever and it just yeah. doesn't if anymore. I need the edible. I need that shit to hit my liver and like multiply. Dude, get into those I hips. need a gremlin effect. Dude, it needs to hit my bitch hips in fucking like <laughs> super scion mode. So then like, I'm in my house and like, if I get like really, really stoned, like I'll start, like my body feels weird and then like yeah. things start to look just like wrong in a way that I can't explain. I'm like, Oh god! So I'm like, I gotta take a shit, and I'm like, but then I, I get to that level, and I'm like, fuck yeah, dude! I can I can get myself out of it, which has been my magician really? trick. Yeah, I've been getting really really good at it. I got but then, it. dude, oh, so yeah, I'm me, taking sorry. a shit. I'm like sitting there. And I, I asked you this before. Have you ever taken a really like a shit while you're high? No, but now when I get high, I think about you saying that to me, dude. So this is like <laughs> not my first rodeo taking a really stone dump. So this is probably like my seventh. So I'm sitting there, and dude. It just so happened with all like the I'm not eating totally plant based now, but I eat a lot of like plant based yeah. stuff now. So I'm taking like just like fucking fourteen inch dumps that like just don't <laughs> stop coming out. So I'm just sitting there and I'm like my like ass is numb and I'm like is it st-? I couldn't tell if it's still coming out. I'm like what the fuck is happening to me and I'm like <laughs> trying not to bug out. So I'm, like I get up from that and I'm like trying to keep it cool and I start wiping my ass and I get so deep in thought while I'm wiping my ass that like yeah. I literally. This, ha- this happened to me too one time when I was making a peanut butter and jelly. Like, I'll get so deep in thought that, like, my surroundings just disappear to where, like, I'm not even, like, aware of anything. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't know. God knows what I was thinking about. But all of a sudden, I snap back in. And I'm in my bathroom. I didn't re- I didn't recognize where I was for, like, a good solid three seconds. Like, I had sat there and was like, you ever wake up? You ever sleep at a friend's yeah, house and wake up and you're like. Dude, I sleep between Philly, home, exactly. and New York and travel. Dude. There's multiple times now I'll wake up. Yeah, a lot of days where I'm like, am I in Philly or New York? Or, exactly, yeah, dude. So I, crazy. I just come to from thoughts that I can't even remember in the bathroom, like half, like mid ass wipe to being like, looking around, like where the fuck am I? And then I was like, oh my god, I'm in the bathroom, my new house. Oh my god, I live in a new house. That's so fucking weird. Oh my god, oh Jesus Christ, <laughs> dude. It was just fucking like, and then fi- I did, it, fi- I got it together. But dude, it was like when I get Bro. super, super high like that. The only thing that brings me down is I'm just like. I'm gonna get it together. I'm gonna start reading a lot and stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna start being a good boy. I'm gonna stop smoking weed, which brings me to my fucking new regime, dude. Which is now it's once a month. I just high? I sustain all of it, but once a month I'm gonna get blast off into the stratosphere. I, I already told my babe. I told my babe March fourteenth. Oh boy, dude. Live podcast. No, 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 no. This is once a month in like total in like Seclusion. a dark room. I told How my about- babe today. I'm like once a month. I'm like you gotta fucking you know I'm gonna do it around your schedule and you're gone. But I'll say one one day, it's all I want out of the month. Leave me the fuck alone. I'll be upstairs on the third floor. I might get a tent. I was thinking about that. Put it up there and get just fucking tent? spend a whole day in a tent upstairs, dude. Just 24-hour period, once a month. So that's my she new could routine. You be in that tent for 15 minutes and be like, <laughs> I'm fucking retarded. <laughs> no way, you dude. You Alex Jones out and be like, I'm actually a little bit retarded. Dude, Alex Jones has been freaking me out. Hold on, I got one. Go ahead, the, please. You're going to love this. I got, <laughs> I got high and I was watching a movie with my roommate. Mm-hmm. And when the movie ended, we both were going to bed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I, he was behind me walking to our, the bedroom. Oh, so he has to walk through your room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I said good night to him. <laughs> I was like, all right, man. Good night. <laughs> and he was like, all right, see ya. And closed the door. And I laid in bed for the next two hours. <laughs> Just like, am I a fucking gay? Dude? Like, I was like, I was like, who the fuck says good night, dude? This guy definitely thinks I'm a fucking weirdo now. Dude, my, like my a boy loser. Says it. My one dude, my friend says that all the time. I yeah. said good night to people. I didn't think it was that weird. It's and then nice. I said good night to another man the yeah, other dude, night and my, laid in bed. Like, what the fuck? Dude, but it's funny. You got that's such a funny thing. It's funny. I know. I knew. I like. So I my couldn't buddy get out it. of it. I couldn't get out of it. You couldn't get out of the good night. In that. I, that was stuck in my head till I passed out. <laughs> I was just in my head, like, is that weird? No, Am I dude. weird to say good night to so somebody? That, I think that's a nice thing. The one guy yeah, I know, good night, dude. one of my old bulls, dude, will hit me with that. I'll be like, all right, 
good night, buddy. And I'm like, thanks, man. Good night. Yeah. Dude, I called him the other night, and I was I was heading down to his place, and I was like, well, you're going to be up for a while? He was like, I'm not long for this world. <laughs> I was like, dude, what? <laughs> oh, my God. It's almost like an unwanted I love you. Or like a, a good night, yeah. It's like pretty if someone, intimate. If someone hits you with like, all right, dude, I love you. Yeah. That it's it's awkward to be like I love you too. I know it's, it is. It, saying I love you isn't bad. Saying I love you too back. That's yeah, when it gets weird. Because yeah, especially if you hesitate, if you're yeah. just like, uh, I love you too. It's like, all right, bro, I love you, dude. Also, it's like, I, I love you too. <laughs> 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 good night. Also, it's how you say good night. If you're like, all right, yeah. good night, dude. Yeah, normal. If you're like, all right, good night. If you, if you do like a sing song, you're like, <laughs> yeah. good night. That's, I think I did. Oh. That was the debate in my head for like two hours. Like how did how I, say I said it? good night. Because I was like, if I'm just like, all right, good night, dude. Totally fine. Yeah. But if a dude is walking through my bedroom and I'm like, all right, good night. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Dude. Yeah. So the other thing that you brought up, I forget. I guess it's from, you know, you're like, how is this shit really affecting me this much? And bought with all like, the yeah. Reddit stuff. Bro, I started reading a book about, uh, it's Jaron, Jaron Lanier. It's yeah. 10 Reasons Why You Should Shut Down Your Social Media Accounts. Whew, bro. I mean, I I knew Facebook was fucking weird. I didn't know exactly how it worked, dude. It's designed specifically. Parts of it are designed specifically for that purpose, just to create like animosity between between people, to where it's like they like, dude. Oh my god, I can't even fucking. So the Wait, one are you tell me, the Zionist puppeteers are creating a dude, social network to divide the. It's not even just that. It's like so, their ripple effects. The whole so Facebook is a platform. They're like people think like as a user, they're the customer of Facebook. Not fucking true. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. it's like mouse saying that like mice trying to complain about like a mice tra- mouse trap, dude. Yeah. It's like it's yeah, the whole is to catch you, but you're not like your user experience isn't like they yeah. use user experience to learn more about you to sell that information to other companies. So the whole point of social media, it's a two tier system where it's specifically set up to addict the user in a, a dopamine feedback loop. And that's not even like conspiracy. That's like yeah. they came out and said that yeah. they it, they use someone's like. Um, is this the same book as the casino thing? No, no, no. It actually it, sounds a lot like the casino. It's very thing, similar. Where it's like you casinos, keep them addicted. Casinos try to like sue Facebook, being like, "You guys stole our the way we that's fucking shit. do shit with slots." Really? Yeah. So Facebook used a bunch of like gambling casino techniques to addict the user, and then what they actually sell is the. The fact that they can manipulate behavior in a way that's preferable to certain advertisers and companies, because they're like, so what they do is they'll like, so they'll they'll study like you know what videos you're watching, all this shit. They have all your information yeah. on your phone, and then they'll find patterns of like when you purchase, and they'll be like, so we watch the, this is the kind of stuff that he ingested like content wise, and then he bought this, but he, when he was watching this stuff, he bought that, and they try to figure out like if it's just like pure happenstance, and then they start doing things where they like, well, when he watches cat videos, he tends to buy like pajamas or whatever so let's let's show him <laughs> more and more cat videos and they'll sell like they'll have an advertiser like here's your base these people into your stuff we have a platform we can we can manipulate their behavior in a way that's favorable to you mm. and that's what the cambridge analytica thing was where they figured out like they can sway elections so like they can sh- they know how to show stuff and they also do like so that's why they ask your um like they if you check your profile they tell you what your they think your political bent is and they'll purposely show, they'll flood your feed with people who have opposing political views to like get people fired up if that's something, or they'll do like the, the opposite thing where it's like a bubble. Wow. They said like when they started that, they didn't know there was there was going to be like so much hatred. They said like the hatred online was like the fu- like oil just laying under the land. And then when they put people on there, be like fuck you motherfucker. And it's it's a there's you're dealing with a bunch of technology addicts who are like driven by that like dopamine burst of attention and like self-validation but the other part too is like when people blow up at each other people get addicted to that too yeah it's like a gambler who likes to win they also kind of like to lose in a weird perverse way yeah so it, what ends up happening this book says is that people are more alert and actually looking for to be offended because they gain like a validation from being offended and then they get to go off and get all that social like feedback of like yes yes good job yes so he yeah, said, like, man. it creates an environment where people are more likely to be offended because we're just, like, crackheads. Yeah. You know, on some level, we're addicted to this technology, and the way to get it is to be, like, a fucking asshole. And then that's, like, the big payoff. Dude, it's, it is fucking nuts. I was reading this shit, and I was just like, what the fuck? Yeah, I stopped, I stopped Facebook. I don't get on that. Yeah, man. I used to get a nice dopamine off of our Reddit. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice little boost. <laughs> that was a good run for a little. Well, Facebook's fucked up because it's, like... You're sitting, you're creating like a, 
The Reddit, by the way, is still hilarious. Reddit's the shit. I fucking, the, our I Reddit, fucking love our it, Reddit page is so fucking funny. <laughs> I fucking funny. love it. It's the, so funny. The Facebook thing's fucked up because you're building this, like, effigy to yourself, like an yeah. electronic version of yourself that you just continuously serve in the name of your own ego, and then you're, they're taking Dude. all that information and just butt... It's the most fucked up <laughs> thing, and then they're just butt-fucking you with all the information you provide in this, like feeble attempt to like gain recognition on this platform that has absolutely no like it doesn't pay off in any other way but this weird like uh, validation currency Bro, that just after, clicks and lights it's fucked up dude. after my show last night this Brit this british dude came up yeah and it was like he was he was the man he was like you're you're hilarious and him and his girlfriend and me and my girlfriend went and hung out and we went to the bar and stuff and hang then out he, with the brits yeah me and these these brits dude that's fucking awesome but uh it was funny because he like loved stand up, yeah. and except he only knew Joe Rogan. Dude, <laughs> I was like, who? I was like, who do you like? And he was like, uh, Rogies. He was like Joe Rogan. Uh, fucking, who's that UFC guy? That's with Joe, the fighter and the kid. Oh, uh, I forget his name. Fuck, right now. I know you're talking about. Um, he does a podcast with Brian Callen. Yeah. Anyway, he was like, that's one of the better comics. And I was like, what do you think of Louie? And he was like, who's Louie? <laughs> I was like, dude. You, got, not, to, you, you got to introduce this guy to Louie? Yeah, I got to introduce this dude who said he was a stand-up fan to Louis C.K. It was great. But then I was. this reminded me of his his social media made me laugh so far. What I was, was it? dying in his face. <laughs> we were sitting at a table, and he, he showed me his Instagram, and it's... Cause he's yoked. He's a hot dude. So he, that's why he loves Rogi. It was so fucking. Fu he look at this picture of him and his boys in Dubai. Damn, <laughs> just hot dudes. Damn, I was like, he's just a jacked fucking Londoner. Hot dudes in Dubai. I was like, you guys are so fucking gay for that. What would he say? He was. He, I mean, I could tell I was mean. It was being mean, but like, because that's what he was doing earlier. He was on like a helicopter above New York. Dude, this guy's extreme as fuck, I know, dude. And I was like, your social media is sick, dude. This guy probably gets charged off of fucking Triple X and Fast and Furious. If you're that jacked and you love helicopter tours, you probably watch fucking Triple X just on this oh, edge of your fucking dude, seat. He's out fucking skiing in the Alps, dude. Damn, this guy's this fucking like this rules. week. It was so fucking funny what to just fuck? be laughing at this guy's social media. And then he was in New York. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy's fucking ripped. He's the man. He's so hot. Yeah, this guy's hot as fuck. British accent. So he's jacked, ripped, and has a British accent? Yeah. Dude, that's fucking crazy. Dude, I've been sitting here fucking with my plug, about to plug my computer in, and it was really just that I had no Wi-Fi. I was like, oh, my battery's about to go out. I have fucking three quarters of a battery. Yeah, also, the whole time you were doing that, I was literally just looking at how hot this guy, <laughs> this guy I was hanging out with last night was. <laughs> Dude, he, has a, he is fucking yoked. He takes ab pictures. He takes, yeah, he, he takes mirror selfies of abs. What kind of... What kind of uh, so fucking What was funny. his babe looking like? Babe's hot. Yeah, I mean, he's a hot babe. Dude. He's a he's like a jet setting fucking <laughs> ball of muscle, dude. Of course, this guy has to be getting ass. He was hitting me with the fucking rugby players could play, beat NFL players. And I what? Like, football, not even like, in rugby. Not what. even in rugby, dude. If yeah, you, if like, you gave those NFL players give them a, like give a them month to learn the rules on of a rugby, one off season. Yeah, we we had like a. Uh, like when I played my freshman year, there was a dude who was like a D one prospect who like played rugby because I think he like got in trouble and couldn't go to college or something. <laughs> dude, this guy like was no one could stop like the whole yeah. season. He just ran across the field side to side. No, nobody could fucking yeah. stop him. That's dude. what I was trying to tell him. He was like, "Well, yeah, well, you guys wear pads, so it's, it's nah, like, dude. dude. Yo, if you put those guys in the NFL and gave them a rugby ball, they would, dude. It would be like unbelievable how much." I had to tell him. I was like, "You guys don't have black dudes." True. Like you don't have fucking. Black dudes. These got like, and I was trying to. I didn't even get into it because it's. You yeah, know, he's I mean, they from have a England. Few. I didn't want to be a dickhead. Yeah, they but have like, a few, but like, they're not pulling from a bench like us, dude. Dude, the there's fucking, no way. Look at the NFL Combine right now. Yeah, these guys dude. are like six eight, three fifty, running yeah. like four nine, four, like terrifying numbers. Yeah, horrifying. I'm like, dude, they don't have that in fucking Wales. <laughs> no, he's dude. like, yeah, they're tough as they're tough as a fucking hammer. Doesn't though. matter. Like, dude, doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter how you can tough be as tough as you want. If some guy's like six times faster than you, you just gonna he's just gonna deke yeah. you out and get around you. But I mean, dude, I I like I I love playing rugby, but like if you put a D one football, if you put like the Ohio Buckeyes and yeah. gave them like a month, they would butt fuck. It'd be terrifying. The best rugby team. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, sure. The offensive linemen aren't gonna be able to run the whole time. True, but they'll also 
murder if if somebody gets a, like a defensive lineman. Well, they would though. That's the other thing too. It's like if you if you gave okay if you gave them like a year and like you yeah. guys get to train and learn the game, it would be over. Yeah, it's. It actually happened to our team. We used to play. <laughs> we used to play this team from Washington D.C. It's all black team. We butt fucked them the first year. Yeah, just fucking pounded them, pounded the ball, killed them. They came back next year and just fucked us. So they learned bad. how to play. They learned how to play and just fucking crushed <laughs> us. And we're like, God damn it! <laughs> like yeah. I ran this experiment. I can tell you the outcome. Yeah, the I got a book. I got a new book. What you reading? I, was, on? I think I was. I was telling you about dope sick. Oh about yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking heroin. Reading about the heroin. Ooh. Whew. Dude, I didn't know it was I eighty one. The highway like by my house is like heroin highway. Is it really? That's what they called it in the book. Jesus Christ! The highway in that goes through Mechanicsburg, heroin highway, dude. Damn, That's what we're doing. So what's it, is it coming? Is it like coming west to east or going east to west? It is. It's from Oxycontin. Gotcha. And then it's from like the Appalachian. Oh, like uh, which way is the drugs running? Yeah. I think Connecticut for a little. Okay, but it makes sense. It's all. Yeah, Appalachia's fucked up. Appalachian dude. Mountains is like all Dude. And then I was watch I watched uh I made Claire watch fucking heroin with me. There's a show there's a documentary on Netflix about really? this lady that just goes around and fucking gives people overdosing Narcan. It's fucking wild. Yeah. They're, dude. they're literally dead. She'll hit them with Narcan and they'll sit up and be like, Yeah. Ah, fuck. A lot of people are getting pulp fiction, dude. A lot of people there's all that <laughs> fentanyl and shit and every there's dude, the uh I was talking. I was talking to someone the dude, other there day. There was a batch in this book. It talks about the same town that the documentary is in. Twenty six fucking people OD'd in one day. God damn. From one batch, dude. Dude. They were partying. I I, had, I knew someone who didn't go out like that, but um, <laughs> someone was literally just telling me the other night that like they were on their way home, and uh, they were like partying, drinking all night with their friends, and someone's like, "Yo, like it was like three in the morning." They're like, "You want a little bum coke?" And they're like, "Yeah, yeah, I get that." It turned out to be ketamine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he had to call his girlfriend and be like. He had his friend explain, like, uh, yeah, he, th- he thought he was doing a- one drug that you didn't like. It turns out it was another drug that you didn't like, and now he's in a K-hole and he can't come home. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, and I just laid there. Yeah, I was like, what'd you do? He's like, I just sat there and mean mugged everybody. I couldn't move. I just sat there and just looked at everyone like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, that fucking sucks. Dude, that's that's it's so funny to call them. Party. I tell everyone, I'm like, no, dude, like saying that it's party time. Like party time for heroin is so party. Fucking heroin funny. party time is the shit. We were talking. <laughs> that's what we talked about. They're like a halfway house. Oh my just god! Just dudes getting a hold of heroin and then partying in the halfway at like ten dudes just nodding out in a room. <laughs> but yes, dude, tonight's gonna be sick. We snuck heroin in. Oh. I mean, it's got to be like. Well, it's got to be funny, too, to, like, think of that. So you got a bunch of people in a halfway house. Someone <laughs> snuck, like, a couple eight balls in. Someone got, like, some fucking skag going. People are shooting up, sniffing coke. Then, like, there's just, like, top 40 dance hits playing. And people yeah. are like, then what? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> then what? <laughs> it's like, we're going to fuck up. It's just, like, Ed Sheeran playing in the background. And they're like, oh, I fucking love this song. A bunch of dudes that got out of jail just sleeping. <laughs> 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 Good night. <laughs> Yeah, it's got to be fucking uh-huh. wild, dude. Yeah, I mean, it's, like, I just wonder, like, wh- how, I wonder how hard people, because there's, like, people are puking left and right, probably. What, during party time? Yeah, dude. <laughs> people are dying, dude. <laughs> people are literally just laying there dead. It's party time, dude. <laughs> that's definitely, I always imagine that as, like, when you see the movie, like, Blade, when everyone's, like, at an underground rave. <laughs> it's, like, yeah. that's that in real life, and everyone's just like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, I can't breathe. Dude. Call my mom. Oh. <laughs> If you do a high dose Bunch of, of vampires in <laughs> trench coats, like, I think I'm dying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, the, every, anytime I go to Kensington now, you see mm. everybody just standing around nodding out. I'm just like, dude, it's party, party that time, dude. partying <laughs> right now. <laughs> That's a sick party to get high as fucking stand by yourself on the side of the road and just be like, oh, fuck. Just stand outside the McDonald's and like watch the bus go by again. You're like, oh, I'm going to get the next one. Fuck yeah, it's party time. <laughs> That's dude, awesome. To, to imagine heroin users are having fun. <laughs> this is a party. What I mean, that might be the allure of heroin. If you're dipping out, you probably just hear the dancing queen in your head. It's like the ABBA song. It's like, damn yeah, dude, while you're nodding, just it's cold. It's, it's gym shorts, it's raining. You're just <laughs> your head just plays ABBA on a loop. That's probably the allure of heroin. You go into a state where your head just blasts ABBA inside, and you're like, "I am the dancing queen." Yes, dude. Yes, dude. Yes. Wow. Yes, dude. I got into a. 
I fucking put my foot in my mouth the other day with my babe. What'd you do? Oh, dude. She's a fucking... Look. <laughs> she's like all... You know, girls, they always think they're like gaining weight and they're like, yeah, I'm saying, yeah. So she's fucking... You know, she's doing all that shit. And like, oh, this is... This is while I'm stoned. I'm so fucking high oh. in this house before she leaves. So I'm sitting there and she's like saying all this stuff like... Uh, yeah, whatever. She's like, girls are gonna gain weight. And I'm like, you look fine, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, and my, I, a thought occurs to me. I go, oh, no, dude. and I just start laughing. Oh, my God. But she's like, what's so funny? I said, no, nah, I'm, not, I'm not saying it. Just leave it be. Fine. So she's sitting there, and I'm like, God, he's fucking start laughing. I'm, I'm, and it's the dumbest fucking thing when I'm laughing. And then, uh, she's like, just fucking say it, okay? And I'm like, it's not even the thing I said. It's just now I'm thinking of, like, the implications how I can't even really say this. She's like, just fucking say it. <laughs> I was like, dude, I was thinking, I was like, well. You got meta? You dude, got I, meta I did, dude. I got it. real meta. Because I was like, it's not even the fact that I'm saying it. It's just how people would actually take it, me being a white. She's like, just fucking say it. And I was like, in my head, when you were saying, like, I was trying to tell you, like, how much I appreciate you. I was like, you used to be my Hershey bar. Now you're my three musketeer. <laughs> oh, my God. She goes, what? <laughs> I'm like, no, you're getting too hung up on the dimensions of the candy. I'm saying, like, you're sweet. And, like, dude. And I'm like, and what's really funny is that, like, as a white guy, I can't really refer to you as, like, a sweet dessert without, like, coming under fire. <laughs> she was just like, I can't believe you fucking said that. I'm like, it's not. Yeah, dude, you called your black girlfriend the three musketeers. <laughs> no, I was saying, like, it used to be, like, a, you know, she was, like, super she had abs. She looked like yeah, a Hershey bar. I was like, bar. you were a fucking Hershey bar. Now, now you're, you're fucking musketeer. plump fucking three musk, <laughs> dude. <laughs> three musk is in plump. I'm like, you're just fucking, fucking moon pie, You're fucking dude. slim thick, dude. You're T-H-I-C-C, dude. It's like, I celebrate. Dude, when I took her home to her family, I got nothing but high fives. Yeah, you got if you fucking... If you have a black girlfriend and you, and you like, get a fucking ass on her. plump, dude. Dude, all her uncles are just like, bam, dude, fucking you must nice. A, you must be doing well, dude. Literally, dude. It's like, it's like bringing home a goat in a funeral <laughs> But dude, for real, like I was just, I was Fuck. getting nothing but love. Dude, all of her aunts are like, you look so good, blah, blah, blah. I fucking, I tell her all the time. I'm like, I am like, Di I'm Da Vinci, dude. I sculpted yes. your fucking ass. I yeah. brought that into life from, I like removed my rib, dude, and put it to your ass and fucking sculpted it. Everyone's stoked on it, but you, it's like fucking relax. Yeah. Dude. How did that I, go? How did the musketeer come in? Oh, I mean, dude, that I had to be. Dude, I fucking I had to go into Shakespeare mode immediately and start. Dude, I oh man, I went in. I was just like, no, I love you dude, so I much. I love you so much, dude. <sighs> I mean, I was just like, dude, I thought you would fucking you would like this because I just came <laughs> up with therapy about like how I have to just be a whole complete person. I can't hide parts of myself, so I'm like, here's this fucking hilarious thing I thought of, and she was like, you got me fucking fat, man. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> god damn it, the mystery deepens. Dude, I was laughing. It was, really made me laugh. It's just the fact that, like, if I were to... I was thinking if I wrote that on her Instagram, how would just be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you can't talk about your black dude. girlfriend being a sweet dessert, white boy. It's like, dude, why can't I compare her to a sweet <laughs> was, dessert? Who <laughs> was the just, comic you thought was a white guy? That was on Facebook. Who was it? <laughs> Buddy Harris. Oh, Buddy no, Harris. Buddy Love. You was, saw Buddy Love. There's a black comic in, in a black <laughs> conversation <laughs> saying some crazy shit, and Matt thought it was a white guy. I don't know. Oh, it was, it was Buddy Love. And it was like, my brother, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, why, how's Buddy Harris getting away with talking to black people like this? He'd be like, look, brother, we've been struggling for a long time. And, da, 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 da. and I'm like, how the fuck is Buddy Harris? getting away with this shit dude i sat up for like an hour oh my god i sent screenshots to jessa reed and was like yo your fucking boy's out of his mind she was like that's fucking buddy love you idiot and i was like oh fuck <laughs> fuck yeah we're getting buddy harris on oh fuck yeah buddy dude. harris will be on next week that'd be tight next he comes weekend. on he's like oh what's going on <laughs> <laughs> god bless you he might because it was like he was he was arguing about like the state of the ancient egyptians with like some dude named like Tamut Huckaboo the third. And yeah. I was like, how's this guy? How's Tamut Huckaboo the third? And I'm being like, yo, dude, stop calling me brother. Dude. Yeah, this is what we got. This is early stages of black conspiracies. Yeah. This is, that was that was like when I started to get introduced to it was Egyptian Facebook arguments. That oh, was when I dude. started seeing black dudes. Like, I didn't know black dudes had wild theories <laughs> on history. Shit, <laughs> start dude. Saying shit. And I was like, what? Dude. The what? Black dude. Black is. We've talked about it before. Black like, conspiracy black and black history is. So Black History Month should be changed exclusively to Black, black conspiracies, conspiracies dude. It should just be Black Conspiracies. Dude, this is the worst Black History Month ever, dude. This sucked. This is the worst. Jussie got framed. Jussie got fucking framed. He's innocent. Dude, no one believes. I was in a bar. There's a bar where I live now is like a heavily gentrified area. But yeah. before it was just like a pr it was all black. And then yeah. there's a bar. A on bunch of musketeers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> be so all mad. Musketeers. If this somehow gets back to him, should be so fucking mad. The uh, there's I'm a- gonna break over a three musketeer. I'm gonna just take it out and eat it. While should we're be so there. fucking mad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, that's a compliment. I look like, like a guy who would bring a candy bar into a house. True, just I could sit there and start eating it. If I had to defend that in theory, I could be like, <laughs> "That's Shane, dude." Shane definitely eats candy bars, <laughs> dude. The, uh, we're in this bar, and it's like in this like heavily gentrified area. There's this one bar; it's all black. Yeah, like right on the corner of like next to it's called like High G and like mm-hmm. some Swedish shit. I don't know. It's it's like insane. So we went in there. To, we got us. Me and the babe we took the babe out. We got a sighty, dude. We sat down. What? When did you get sighties? She came off work, bro. She was, you know. I think she texted me that night. Did she? Yeah, to was see if two me nights ago? and baby girl were in town. Was it two to nights ago? She got yeah, off. It was, it was relatively recent. Was around like 11.30 at yeah, night? Yeah, it was late. She That's was like, when it was. in town. Yeah, she got off a little early. She's like, oh man, you know, I'm fucking stressed. Will I got to ask you this. I got to cut you off. Sure. Are you going to have a sighty March 14th? Oh, for sure. Right. For sure. All right. Oh, I'm dude. so excited. Dude, I haven't drank with you. I know. That'll be. Since the last, last live cast. La- dude, you can't fuck up the formula for the live cast. Live I have cast. to eat. I have to nibble on gummies, drink sighties. And let everything, let the magic happen, dude. Dude, so I like, we go in there, and it was like, there was this, they were like playing, it was funny, the person in the bar was putting Fox for CNN back to back, and it was the funniest fucking shit. And then like, they're playing the Jesse Smollett shit, and they're laughing at, and they would, they would play a story on Fox, then jump to CNN, and then have like, just, dude, like polar opposite views, just being broadcast, and we're all just in there like laughing and fucking around, and that one guy's like, this is the worst fucking Black History Month ever! (laughs) 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 We were in there like, it was so fucking funny. Everyone in there was laughing, and then there was like, there was a video, apparently there was a video that went around of a dude with like an AK-47, like, it was on the news, some dude with an AK was like clearing out a street and like yelling at someone, and all I hear is dude in the back like, that's fucking me, bro, that's me with the street sweeper, they were like fucking around, it was so fucking funny. It Hell was yeah. so fucking funny. So you funny. watch news with black dudes. Yeah, it was it was sick. And then one dude that's was bragging. Awesome. He's like, that's me with the AK. Bro, look at everyone scattered. Blah, blah, blah. Dude, it was so fucking funny. That's great. And then this guy, dude, having them go back and forth between the news, and we're all in there just like laughing how ridiculous this shit was. Damn, you must have been killing. Were you, I'd, were you I was pontificating? Or did no, you actually, back? what happened is I just started watching Taboo, the show with Tom Hardy. So I was real into being like real quiet and mysterious. So I just sat in there, and I was like in my fucking green sweatpants, dude, being so quiet and mysterious. And I was just in there. I was just fucking... Laughing, being like, Ugh. hell yeah, yeah, dude, that's sick. <laughs> I've already decided, dude. What's wanted- funny is they definitely read that book by its cover. Like they saw a weird white dude in sweatpants, mm-hmm. and they knew exactly who you were. Oh, dude, like, they could look at you and just be like, "Yep, yeah, yeah he well, doesn't need to speak. Nah. We know exactly what he's about to say." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they ordered. I ordered two sighty. Sat down with my babe, dude. Just watched the news. Was laughing around with people, and just kind of sat nice. there. Super mysterious, bro. You are mysterious. I do, especially when I watch Taboo. You still tell me things that I'm like, what? <laughs> when you FaceTimed me the other day, we won't get into it. We we shouldn't even be on the air we right now. Be on the fucking but air when right you now. FaceTimed me the other day, I was like, dude, this guy is on a different level. <laughs> what the fuck world is this? Hell yeah, dude. But dude, the uh, yeah, I've, I've been watching Taboo, and it's like, bro, I just want to get my body like Tom Hardy. Really? Oh, not even. He just he wears this fucking. Do you ever watch Taboo? No. Fucking oh yeah, awesome I did. show. I watched the first couple. He episodes. just walks around like he's a, a, fucking a man. black top hat and a fucking just. He's just like a black overcoat and he's yeah. just jacked. I'm like, dude, I gotta start you wearing gotta get a black top hat. That's and what I'm a saying, black dude. Overcoat. Just wearing boots and just walking through mud. And dude, I was like, this is fun. He, <laughs> he rides his horse. I'm like, dude, instantly that's another way I got the bay back on board. I'm like, you want to go horseback riding? I gotta take the babe horseback ride. You guys go horseback Three Musketeer. Yeah. That's gonna be great. I know. I'm you excited. Call Three Musketeer. Now you gotta. <laughs> now I gotta ride a fucking horse, dude. <laughs> but yeah, we uh, actually, I told her, I'm like, you know, it's a big deal. I got bucked off a horse when I was a little kid. I'm scared of horses, bro. Wow. I'm super scared of horses. I, I, I was like, dude, I used to watch people ride horses. I'm like, horses, I'm cool. That's a good move. I'm on. I'm on mean probation myself. I'm not gonna ride. I use a saddle though. You're going raw. I'm going raw. Native. I'm gonna use a cup. And go raw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wear football pads, dude, and fucking ride the horse. Oh, your babe, you said your babe's mad. Yeah, it was, I was mean to her, and just I'm on, I'm on strict probation. Right Take her on horseback. Not dude. allowed to be mean, dude. Let's surprise, let's blindfold our babe, surprise him on horseback. We should fucking know. We should how we should we should surprise him, blindfold him, put him on horseback, and just smack the horse's ass, dude. <laughs> Let him ride, <laughs> like, dude. That's a Hershey kiss and a Hershey hug, <laughs> hanging out, <laughs> dude. I, that's my little Hershey hug, dude. Dude, you gotta. You, I mean, I'm telling you, you, gotta start comparing your. We gotta break down the walls to be able to compare your girlfriend to a sweet dessert, dude. Yeah. 
It's unfair. Exactly. They're taking everything from white men. <laughs> the ability to compare your... You can't compare your well, chicks. White dudes, weren't, we, white dudes are more like nature comparers. They'd be like, my yeah. little lilac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black dudes came like, my little honeypot. Yeah. My little... My little, my little sweet, my little, Alex my little Jones, sweet dude. little. <laughs> Alex Jones. Dude, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, we got to get onto the Jones. Alex Jones has been in my fucking head. That was another thing I was freaking out about. That's because fucking Spud Dog and Billy. Not even that. Did you hear what he was talking about? Alex Jones to, theories? I listened to on the Rogan podcast. hallucinogenics? Yeah. How you're just summoning intradimensional demons? Mm. Dude, I was in my bathroom. After I remembered where I was, and I was like, oh, I'm in my bathroom. In my head, I started, I started getting my head about intradimensional demons, and I was in my, like, literally, like, talking myself out of, like, I'm not summoning intradimensional demons right now. I'm like, no, Joe's is full of shit. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Dude, I, like, that's been getting in my head. And the demon standing next to you was like, yeah, Matt. Alex Jones is lying, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking lying. Well, dude, then dude I didn't how many help. demons were you chilling with? I just started reading uh, fucking Faust, dude. That's who the party boys are chilling with. Demons? Yeah. Think they're summoning demons? When they're nodding? Probably. That's fucking Demon City. Yeah, dude, for sure. My, I know, I, I got sources. Someone, someone, uh, well, no, he actually, yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't high. He just was fucked up in a coma. Claims he saw a demon. But the, uh, dude. When he said this, I was like, sleep paralysis. I experienced the, I saw the interdimensional demon too. Dude. You know what I mean? Oh, you're talking about Jones? Yeah. No, he's saying you're like you're I know, summoning on DMT and shit. Well, he he's not even saying interdimensional. He's meaning like from like the fourth and fifth and sixth yeah, dimension. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, you know, we're like, which I don't think is that crazy to say. Like, you know, we're in the third dimension. I just again, I put the video on the Reddit of the tenth dimension and like all the way up. Whew. It 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 could be the case. I mean, it makes sense that like you see an ant and it's like crawling around, has no idea what's going on. There has to be a level above us. To think that there's not is only hubris, dude. It's pure hubris. Hell yeah. So there's definitely, I, I think there definitely is like a, you know, sixth dimension. Well, the sixth dimension <laughs> is just fucking time. So, I oh know the fourth dimension is time. The sixth dimension is crossing, like folding the time in to meet alternate timelines. So. Yeah. I just, dude, I thought I was summoning a fucking, and I just started reading Faust, which is all about a dude who summons a fucking demon. Dude, Faust is fucking lit, dude. What's he chatting about? He's just in his library and he's like, dude, I read every book. I'm the smartest fucking dude. And it's just. <laughs> Nothing's come of it, and he just he like sees the Nostradamus book. And he opens up, and he's an alchemist. He starts looking at yeah. like the alchemy shit, and he was like, "Fuck, dude, I need to summon like some sort of spirit here." Just like he's like, "I'm ready for the next level." And a spirit comes, and he's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> "No, no, no, no!" So in a, I didn't. That's I, I'm only on the beginning. That's nice, dude. Though. People used to think like in medieval times they thought that like the spirit lived in the core of the earth, and it was just like emanating out, and it was like fucking with people, and then that like. People walked around like how bees like suck pollen out of flowers. They thought that we like sucked reason and like thoughts out of the sun where we were just kind of like buzzing around all day in our little orbs and we're like, <laughs> people in the medieval times are fucking nuts. I was, I'm built for medieval times, dude. I'm built for that shit. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> I love how it gets there. Like, no matter what you're on, you're like, I should be a fucking, I should be a medieval warrior. Dude, dude. I just had to write a paper for school, and, like, the guy mentioned feudalism, and I was like, you fucked up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes fucking four you pages down the feudalism, pod. bro? <laughs> I just remember the tag, I was like, you fucked up, dog. Here comes fucking five pages about feudalism. It was supposed to be economic theory, and it was, like, the first three and a half pages of just about feudalism and how sick it was. You love feudalism. <laughs> dude, I fucking love it. Well, that was what I was saying in the thing. It's like, when people were like... I was talking to Sid the Kid about this the other day, how, like, people will be like, capitalism is basically feudalism, and it's like, I can see how you could, like, trace the elements over the other, but nothing compares to, like, your boss being able to cut your fucking head off. Yeah. It's like, they're two, they're in two different galaxies, bro. It's like, if your boss could come in your office and it's like, and you're like, ah, ah, <laughs> then just, like, steal your fucking farm, that's totally two different fucking things. Mm-hmm. So I had to remind those motherfuckers about You had to let them know what feudalism, know feudalism was. People forget, dude. People forget. The fact that, like, uh, capitalism's so fucked up. It's like, dude, spend a week. Dude, and feudalism, all it was was a, a peasant, a priest, and a warrior class. That was, yeah, those were your options. Yeah. That what was would it. you be? You'd be a dark priest warrior. Dark, I'd be a dark priest. You'd I don't know. I'd be a peasant priest warrior. I'd, pr- I'd be probably more of like a um, a sage. I'd probably get end up getting hung or something. I would hang you. Yeah, I, I'd I would. Get, you would end up hanging quickly me. hang you. Well, do you know why the, like, medieval, <laughs> you know why they were so, like, like fucked up about the land. All it was was them. Just like you would wrote, you would ride upon your family would ride upon land and be like, "This is our land." And then you'd fight people off, and then you'd have a vassal. Say like you would get the Beezer and be like, "All right, Beezer, I'm your lord. You're my vassal. 
you can control this little stretch of my land, but see to it that it's tilled. And then the Beezer would go down to like someone else and be like a lesser duke and be like, tend to this land. And then he, it was like a chain people collected off of. Yeah. But the, all, all they had back then was the land because they were isolationists because the Muslims were blocking the Mediterranean. So they had to go inward, and all they could do was grow crops and yeah. fight each other. And then once they the Crusades took out the Muslims, they expanded. And that's where capitalism came because we needed all these different roles, bro. Fuck! I just wrote a fucking six page paper, dude. I'm still waiting for. I hand I hand my paper, dude. I'm such a jerk. <laughs> I hand my papers in a week early, and I'm just like, yeah, here you go, bro. Wow. I'm a jerk, dude. That's awesome. Super jerk. That's a sick move. It's a dude. I hand my papers in early as fuck, and I'm like, I spend like like really serious You're amounts like, of time. I, I'm not even gonna edit this again. No, it's, dude. it's done. I sit there. I'll, I'll spend like a good like Do you guys eight get hours on my papers. No, it's just I'm doing it purely to, for fucking just. To, There's no grades. My papers are just drip. It's just pass fail. It's pure water, dude. I'm just like, have Yo, you failed? Hell no, bro. People sweat my shit, dude. I, mean, I put like a ton of time and thought into these papers. Most people just I'm sure like, you have, dude. I yeah, fucking, most people are like this is a homework assignment. I do You're deep, up there. I do like, deep research. <laughs> this is everything. Because <laughs> I, <know. laughs> well, I was writing You're that like other, Rudy, dude. I was writing that other book, and I took, I just stopped doing that and put all that energy to writing my school papers, dude. You, you dude, they don't you know are, what you are the Rudy of academia. <sighs> It's I like, love dude, this it, guy dude. shouldn't even be here. I shouldn't be in He's there, just dude. Working his ass off. <sighs> I fucking love it. He dude. loves the game. I love academia. I wish they had. They should have done pass fail since the time I was a fucking tyke. <laughs> this is the way for me Yeah It's like dude Pass foul No big deal And I'm like alright Let me see if I understand the concept No big deal Rather than being like A, B, C, D All that yeah. bullshit I don't know I dig it That's good I dig it I'm when gonna form a school wait, Did you do alright in school? Did you get like decent grades? I did uh, It all depends I was ve- I was very off and on Yeah me too I'll get caught up in some motherfucking bullshit Yeah I get caught up in bullshit <laughs> I'll get Someone told me that like Your junior year is all that matters So I like Dicked off my first freshman year, sophomore year, kind of mess around. My junior year, I had like a three eight. I did like nice. really, really good. And then someone's like, "Yo, they don't look at your senior year." And I went down to like a fucking like two four. I, I was being a bad boy senior year. And someone's like, yeah. "And even in my senior year picture, I was like." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're like, "Dude, that goes on your fucking transcript, you idiot." And I was like, "Oh fuck." Yeah, I did that too. The you made a funny picture. I, made, I would go take retakes too, because then they would make you get retakes, and I would cross my eye the entire time. <laughs> I would try to go through the entire process with a crossed eye, just one eye. So then, when I took the picture, she couldn't be like, "All right, oh stop." Oh my god, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> I did that at the fucking DMV when I got my license. Oh, I saw that picture. Fantastic. My license dude. picture is brutal. Yeah, that picture's fucking... It is so ugly. It's so funny. I thought it was funny as fuck until now, whenever I actually need it. When the only time it? people actually see it is when I need it. See, and I'm... I don't want to have a dumb fucking face in it. <laughs> and my... It's like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do... I've always wanted to do this. I'm doing tinfoil. I'm doing a grill next time I go in there. Just doing like my front two teeth with tinfoil. I was going... <laughs> just flexing, dude. It's like, this is my... This my yeah, and then you're going to be fucked. Why? The only time you're going to need to show that is when you like get arrested. Pulled over. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I pulled over. He's a fucking idiot. Damn, bro. Bro. Dude. Oh, I had a fucking hot rumor. What's Watching that? Taboo. I'm pretty sure Tom Hardy's Stone Cold Son. Really? Dude, if you check out, if you look at Tom Hardy with a goatee, I think that's think Stone, Stone Cold, Cold Steve. Steve yeah, I think Stone Cold launched him into Hollywood. Wow. Yeah, think about it. You think he sent his son over to England? It was like learning the It's probably his bastard. Tom Hardy, Stone Cold's bastard, dude. Almost definitely. Tom Hardy is the man. Fuck, I forgot how much I love Taboo. Taboo was sick. Dude, it's Except my favorite Except I was show. watching it on FX on demand, so there was always commercials. Oh, it sucks. And it fucking took me out. Where are you watching it now? I'm watching it in my house, dude. It's fucking no, fantastic. No, I don't mean literally. I mean like uh, what, what part of it? Oh. <laughs> I'm watching it at my house. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it at the drive-thru. The, uh, I'm watching it on Netflix, I think. Oh, it's on Netflix. Hulu. It's on Hulu. Uh, uh, Bro, dude, Taboo is my favorite show. Taboo is the shit. Ta- someone was like, someone, Bernie's friend was like, if you like Peaky Blinders, check out Taboo. And I'm like, Taboo blows Peaky Blinders out the water. I just, dude, Debatable. I, I love but the I fucking, like, You like the dark arts. The dark fucking shot. You like the hot dark. He's fucking his sister, dude. And he's I'm, hot. I'm thinking it's not his sister. I, I don't know spoilers. I don't know. Don't fucking spoil me. I'm like, I mean... I think this finale will be him boning his sister, and he's going to realize his mom takes him under the water, and it's like, that girl's not your sister, and he just fucking loses his boner. That's my fucking finale prediction. That would suck. Yeah, if he fucking... Dude, that would ruin the whole thing. Dude, I'm not going to lie. He's fucking his sister. That's hot. Did you see <laughs> Did you see the part? What part did you get to? No, I don't know. It was, why, I mean, it was when it came out. They boned. Yeah. And I was pretty stoked on it. I was watching it. like a sailor? 
he was a, i mean it, the the whole story is, is the backstory is like it was uh, about like the illegal slave trade when like people would sink yeah. slave ships so like no one knew like and he was trouble. supposed to be dead or was that or something <clears throat> he was in africa but the, he was for he was sailing for a company and the whole thing was basically that like this you know the, the honorable east england east I, what the fuck's called east indian trading company yeah they um Sorry, dude, I shouldn't be on the air. You shouldn't be on the air right now. They were like secretly, they sent him to do missions and he didn't, that's what I'm guessing it is. He didn't know. And they're like, yo, you got to take these slaves back. And he was like, man, I'm not about this fucking against the sailor's code. But somewhere along the line, he inhabits, he gets these like shamanic powers. Yeah, dude. in Africa. Yeah, dude. And he like, <sighs> you see when he channels his sister while she's asleep? Yes. Woo! Yeah, dude. Starts blowing stuff in the fire. And her sister starts uh, squiggling. God damn. That gets you going, dude. That's like the story you want to have. What? A dark shaman from Africa. And then oh, you get for to sure. blow sweet, dude, Shane, sweet why you orgasms think, why you, to your sister. No, to my sister, dude. Yeah, I don't it, think it's not your sister. Come on. No. You don't want to blow first sweet all, orgasms to your sister. First of all, that's his half sister. If I had a half sister, I maybe I would talk about it. But I don't <laughs> I think that's not his sister. My thing is you just what you just described is like, yes, and why do you think I sat in the bar and was mysterious as fuck, dude? While everyone <laughs> are, watched the news around me. When you walked in when I walked in today and saw you, I could tell. Dude, my mystique was on the like, fucking thousand. How dude. mysterious you've been is blowing my mind, dude. I can't <laughs> get a grab I can't yeah. get a hold of you. I literally thought about coming like here today pig, and not dude. talking at all and just being like mm. That's what that's what Hardy does a lot and they'll be like, Is this good? He'll be like mm. That's what I thought. I was like, I've actually caught myself doing that. Brittany will say something like, mm. and I'm like, oh, you're such a fucking loser, dude. <laughs> Have you watched the 2000s, that thing on Netflix? Yeah, you told me to watch I was pretty fucking, tight. like blacked out last night and I watched it. Oh, the British chick threw up in the bar when we left. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, things got ugly at the end. Dude, so the guy, the Jack, she threw up on the Jack dude? <laughs> she threw up. First off, she was making fun of the Jack dude for not being able to drink the whole time. Jesus she was Christ. She's like, I, I drink like a fucking fish. Oh. <laughs> and she, she fucking threw puked. up, yeah. We probably hit her with a little GHB. He probably fucking roofied her. Dude. Yeah, I mean, if you're that jacked. The reason they were on the trip, this is sick. She sued a guy. A guy hit her with his car. She sued him. And that's how they're on the trip. What? She sued an old drunk driver for hitting him. Now they're on the trip, dude. They're having fun. Jesus, dude. he knocked dude. the guy out. He beat the shit out of the guy while the guy was in the car. And then they got a bunch of money from him? And then him? they also sued him. And he's in jail. <laughs> <laughs> they're out getting <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Oh my god! She's puking in a bar off the money. God damn, so dude, funny. that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, that's so treacherous, dude. It was funny. He was like, "That's not me, dude." He's like, "I wouldn't." I told him, "Don't, don't sue him. Don't fucking." He send just him beat away. his fucking ass or He's hit like, him. I already knocked him out. Like, yeah, what else? We're do we even. Need to do? We're even, Steven. Yeah. Was, god damn, that guy's so Tom Hardy, dude. dude. This guy was so fuck, Tom Hardy. Fuck. That's so Tom Maybe Hardy, him DMing, dude. dude. What? I'm DMing this hot British dude. Ask him if he's seen Taboo. I'll fucking DM him right now and ask him. If he's ask seen him if we can all FaceTime and watch Taboo together. <laughs> but, oh my dude, god! Oh my god! Did you just see what Tom Hardy he sells did right fucking there? Fucking jujitsu mats. Stop, dude. <laughs> Fuck! He's such a fucking Chad. His name is Jack, dude. Jack. His name is Jack. His name is Jack. His name's Jack. Name Jack. He's British. He's got abs. And he sells jujitsu he like equipment. Dubai. He sells jujitsu mats. Fuck. God damn, dude. He was shadow boxing a little bit. I'm going to ask him if he'll be my Chad boxing? father. Dude, I said goodnight to him hard when we left. You're like, good night. He's like, good night. <laughs> dude, I want to see if he'll be my Chad father. He will be. Would you be the Chad father of my kid? Dude. Have to teach your kid how to finger, dude, and get ripped? This will guy you teach, teach my kid how to finger. get abs? This guy. Will... I'm trying to get my fucking abs back, dude. You could tell he was. she was hitting him with like something like, oh, uh, Claire's phone broke, so I was letting her use my phone. Yeah. And she was like, he would never let me do that, ever. He would never let me see his phone. Because he's like, getting clearly, tons yeah, of other pussy, bro. Yeah. She was like, it took me four years to lock him down. And he was like looking at me. He's like, you know what that's like. I was like, hell yeah, dude. Hell you're yeah, the dude. best ever. Yeah, you're like one fucking jacked, ripped dude to another. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, dude, I drown in pussy also. So yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> took a while to lock me down. Uh, dude, that's so fucking funny. Damn, dude. That was, so they saw the show. That might have been James Bond. Fuck, dude. God, I'm so jealous you got to fucking chill with the English Chad. English Chad and his fucking... Dude, British people are sacks of shit. Oh, for sure. Like, she, they were so fucking Dude, it's funny. the fucking nexus of evil. They're Jersey Shore, dude. <laughs> really? There's like a full-on fucking... Any British tourist is like a Jersey Shore, like, yoked. They're for all sure. fucking jacked. In, <laughs> their Instagrams are hilarious. <laughs> British people's Instagrams are like ours times a thousand. They are fucking funny. They're all like, they're obsessed with social media in like, <laughs> they get it. They go, they all try to take ridiculous pictures. It's so fucking funny. It's fucking awesome. 
Yeah, in Spain, they fucking hate British tourists. Hate them. Yeah, dude, they're fucking... They go down there and they're fucking... They chant, they sing constantly. British oh, people sing. God. They get drunk and sing. That's like their thing. They just go like... Oh, <laughs> yeah, like uh, Todd, Ben, Bowen, Bubbles. Oh, Come right. on, lads, sing along. <laughs> Bowen. I'm just like, shut the fuck off, dude. I'm trying to black out. Damn, dude. This is a, so you were up with a number one Chaz cat, dude, just rolling around. Just a Brit Chad, dude. <laughs> It was sick. I got God to introduce damn. him to Louie. He was telling me how much he loved fucking... What do you watch Louie? He's like, brilliant. Yeah, I was like, dude, wait till you see this guy. Joe Rogan was his favorite comedian? Well, yeah, that's all he got. He So that, that was the only group of comics he knows. The Death Squad. Is the fucking Death Squad and like Tony Hinchcliffe. And I'm like, wait till you see Louie, dude. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> he probably blew that guy's fucking mind. Bro, I fucking... Death Squad, Tony Hinchcliffe. Yeah, ever, no ever heard of him? The fastest rising comedian in the world, isn't it? Tony Hinchcliffe. <laughs> Wicked fucking funny then, isn't it? Dude, that's fucking so funny. Uh, so fucking jelly, you guys. I forgot it. all about his chick throwing up in the bar. That's so funny. She was puking into a beer mug when we were leaving. Damn. <laughs> Get out of here. You've made a mess of yourself. Dude. He's like, she's a bit fucking gobby, isn't she? Do you think he has like a ton of... She's a bit <laughs> gobby. gobby. And I was like, yeah, dude, she's definitely gobby. <laughs> He's like, what's gobby? Wonder, dude, his phone must be nothing but fucking pussy pics coming in. Just I like, might send him some nudes. You should, I might send yo, him nudes of my girlfriend and be like, dude, you earned this. Send him nudes of yourself, dude. I'll you a fucking full wall, dude. Laying on my side, my bitch hips sticking dude, out. You, just my dong, <laughs> my dong laying to the go, side. You should go face down, ass up, and send him a nude. <laughs> Just get a selfie stick and go face down, ass up, and hit a dude. With, like, my hips up? Not even face down, ass up. Like, <laughs> sticking it up. You know? Dude, you should cross-dress. <laughs> I just gotta roll my hips and let him see my fucking... Let him see everything. You dude. should do... You should cross-dress and do, like, a roll around your bed in oh. lingerie where you just, like, roll around your bed and it's, like, a gif and you send it to him, dude. Yo, how about that fucking Subway ad I sent you? Dude, what the fuck was that? New York, it, New York is so fucking gay. What was the ad for, though? It's a wedding... There's there's these ads on these subway cars now that are for it's a wedding app. Okay. Or it's a wedding company. They wedding help you app? S- yeah, it's like an app that helps you design your wedding. Okay. So all these ads are like the first one was like Indian people and like we were able to plan like and then it was a bunch of shit I never heard of. Like, like what? our Sangreep, our fucking Dashnik, yeah. or like we planned all this through this ad. They organized like, like a long dance like, number where yeah. like the bride or the groom yeah. like seduce the bride. Hell, <laughs> hell. Uh, yeah, and it's like, dude, yeah, we get it. You guys are diverse. Yeah. You don't have to make up words and post them on the subway. Yeah, dude. But then this one was about uh, a gay couple. Mm-hmm. These two fucking hot gay dudes that got married. Sure. Uh, the quote, we couldn't have pulled off the craziest three days of our entire lives without Zola. Zola's the company, by the and way. Z- and sponsor, Jack, Jack, who popped out of the cake, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so then underneath it, it has a quote, uh, John and Mark, they swapped rehearsal dinner for a drag pageant, dot, 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 featuring their dads. That's what they did. Their dads dressed And then drag? here's a picture of their fucking cross-dressed dad with his two, with Hold his up. gay boy. Dude, that's, that's his their dad? dad? That's their hot-ass dad. That's cro- fucking hot, bro. <laughs> that's a cross-dressing dad, dude. What if you're like, you were, you're getting gay married and you convinced like your dads to cross-dress? That's what they did. First of all, the dad, was, they did. the dad was probably like, okay, I'll be oh, there yeah. in 15 minutes. He's probably already wearing a dress. And he's like, what do you want? He's like, I just got to finish my eyeliner. I what? mean, start. <laughs> Let me think about this. Yeah. Dude, they had their dads do a cross-dressing pageant at their fucking gay wedding. Dude, what if they like went what? in the dressing room, their dads were just fucking, dude, in drag. And they were That's like... probably what they want. What else do they... What would they want with you that? You don't want to walk in on your dad's fucking... They're probably like, dad's gross. Dad's. Ew. Ew. I don't even want to think about you guys having, I don't want to think about my dad's having sex. <laughs> dude, they made them dress up and dance. It's pretty wild, dude. You should do that at your wedding. Yeah, I, I would. I'm like, I'll get my dad to dress Get remarried and, and get a fucking, I gotta get make Zola. your dad cross dress. I'm going to, it's going to be the top of my docket, dude. That's going to be number one on my list. My dad needs to wear a thong. True. At the wedding. I don't my know, My dad's dude. not in a thong. I, I don't want to do that to my, um, what you gonna call it, my black father-in-law. Whole oh, fucking everyone's trying to put black men kidding? in dresses, bro. Black men, dude. Oh, why do always strong black men have to put on a dress, he dude? I'm not, I'm pose. not contributing to that. He would strike a pose. I'm so dude. conflicted right now between my values of cross dressing and but putting black men in dresses. Everybody's trying to demasculate the black man. Exactly, dude. But and I'm not gonna have that at my wedding. Demasculate. That's not the word. Demasculate. Yeah. Demasculate. Mm-hmm. What about emas- emasculate? Maybe that might emasculating. be emasculating. Right. Emasculating. You could demasculate though. 
Like Whatever. I get, you know, you can get demasculated. Yeah, but you get it right back, dude. Imagine if you're like me get... and Jack and Tom Hardy. You get it right back. How are you someone... not free? I I could have. I was I was staring at that the entire subway. I was ride. blown the fuck dude, away, dude. Getting your dad. First of all, first of all, I'm calling bullshit on that, dude. That, uh, that's another thing about the social media book. There's so many fake al- accounts and actors that like this. And I, I I haven't verified it. Also, yet, but... notice the black priest, the black female priest in the back. Of... She presided over the wedding. Just fucking lording over the they trans dads. Black lady priestess. And then their dad's it's drag like a, pageant. It's like a comic strip, dude. It's I'm crazy. T- I, I'm going to go on a limb and say that didn't happen. I think that might have just been a photo shoot. You know what I mean? Because, mm-hmm. dude, I was watching this shit. Um, yeah, the, the, it's, it's funny that that's what they were like. All right, let's think of something like cool. What would be really cool? Yeah, getting your dad. Black priestess. Uh, what's like anti-establishment? How about our dads cross-dressing? At our wedding. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, dude. Stop. That's fucking wild. Don't do that. Not in my country. God man. damn it. Not in my America. That's fucking crazy, dude. I'm just trying to think of like... I mean, dude, it's... A, it, it's all just for New Yorkers to jerk off on the subway. Yeah, That's what the homeless oh, dudes oh, are jerking God. off to. They're all just super woke. I mean, that one they dad is pretty like fucking that. hot. Fucking, that that fucking, dad's hot. I'm glad you agree, because I saw the last night. I'm like, fucking that cross-dressing dad's, dad's hot. hot as fuck, dude. Yeah, it's a dude. cross-dressing dad. Very exotic looking. That's an angel daddy, dude. Shit, bro. I'm going to go... Shit, I'm going to put my dad in some dress see what he's looking like. Who knows? I might have a hot fucking cross-dressed dad. They made their dad's ma'am. Nah, dude. my dad would look like Miss Doubtfire, bro. My dad would not be looking good. What, ma'am Doubtfire, dude? <laughs> ma'am <laughs> Doubtfire. Be a good man. Oh, dude, speak of the fucking devil. What are the dogs What up, here? bro? Yeah, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Where are you at? Uh, we're coming in now. Oh, my Ooh. God, dude. We got we got to get off the air. We're doing we're doing Patreon. We got uh, the fucking... Yeah, Go dude. On. You got to... March 14th, come to the live podcast. What are we at time-wise? An hour and five. Uh, do you want to, let's pause it, put the dogs on for gotcha, like 10 good call. minutes Ooh, good call. and then go into the page. And we'll do this, Patreon. Is, this is just, I mean, I know a lot of you guys aren't on the page, but yeah. boy, you're going to want to listen to these two boys roll. Whew, they're going right. to get the revenge. Big stuff. Good they put on the fucking ground, God. We're back, dude. We somehow, we went out and secured the very, very controversial, the fucking storm of last week. Dude. I mean, this is this the is, tempest over the water. This is crazy. Jesus the, the Christ, two dude. fucking bulls that just dropped in, dude. <laughs> Thick fucking dudes coming in here. Hot dudes rolling in. It's just not that crazy. <laughs> it's not. You guys have, yeah, I live down the street. <laughs> related to Matt, so. It's pretty this fucking exclusive, wild. exclusive, dude. Just whatever. I don't what even care anymore. What the fuck do you guys do today? Clean out a basement. <laughs> Dogs going nuts. That's about it. Eh, what's up with you guys? Talking sick. Talking cool. Yeah, bro. We've been chilling hard, ripping the cast. Are we on yeah. the cast right now? Yeah, we're on the cast. Wow. Okay. We yeah. hot mic'd you guys. Sorry. Damn. Didn't know. No, this isn't your full episode yet. This is just nah. a little, little a teaser, teaser bro. dude. Oh, Show okay. some fucking yeah. teaser. Teaser for the broke boys. Teaser yeah, for the broke boys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Patreon <laughs> will we'll get a little bit more of an amendment. Yeah, we'll dude. Be able to... I mean, we. I, I needed... I had to I had to get a hold of you guys to... Because I watched the Alex Jones. Yeah. What do you say that was wrong? Rogies, dude. I just needed to get you guys' take on it. Yeah, so amazing. we were on the pulse, right? I mean, pretty much, yeah. You guys, yeah. yeah. Basically. You hit all his talking points. Pretty much. I listened to him all the time. Credit so. score. Yeah. yeah. The credit score, man. Did anyone pick that up? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. That's <laughs> fucking perfect. I thought he kind of sucked. You thought Jones okay. sucked? I thought fucking Rogan buried him, dude. I mean, I, that was the most entertaining. Who is four uh, hours. 100% yeah. trolling yeah, right yeah, now? I mean, 4 Come million on. people yeah, thought this Stole the show. 4.5. Last time I checked, but probably more now. Yeah, he did yeah, crush. Dude. A lot of haters. A lot he, of haters. Yeah. He was so fucking funny. That was amazing. He was so fucking funny. This Hell is what yeah. we've been saying, and all the people fucking crying on Reddit. Like, they're fucking retards. <sighs> hey, that was another thing to address the haters, dude. Yeah. Well, yeah. Was so I got, spade. So the, the haters... Honestly, that, I don't know how you guys deal with um, being public figures. <laughs> it's tough. It's kind of tough. I think I'm know? definitely going to Heath Ledger out, dude. Someone actually called Spade straight retarded. <laughs> it That's hurt. me. And what I'm do you think I lie. got? <laughs> Did you see what I got? Hey, you deserve it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if Come you on, want. How, I mean, how much time's left in this regular episode? As much as we want, dude. We're the boss. Yeah, yeah, we're the boss. He's probably fucking ending right now. Yeah, yeah dude, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I just want to let you guys. Oh, okay. I just want to let you guys. Hear you guys. <laughs> Praise the Lord! I was born to drive boat, feeling like Slash in front of the chapel. I'm lean back with the less pull. Shit I smoke is like cholesterol. Still dressing on the vest at the festival, the best of all. Had a midget Puerto Rican at my